Hey, you welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Doug Days. This is a five episode series of shorts that are based on what happened after the movie Up. So, if you know who Doug is, he's the dog who can talk with the help of a collar that was invented for him. And uh, he, uh, Ian Carl, uh, the old man, played by Ed Asner, the late Ed Asner. This is uh, probably his final performance, at least with Pixar. Um, he is. Uh, he and Carl are living their best life in a brand new house that does not have balloons attached to it, and uh, it's. This is just a story of of uh, Doug's adventures, uh, mostly in the backyard and a little bit into the neighborhood. I find it weird though that uh, in the second episode, I'm not going to give away spoilers on how this stuff starts, but. There's a neighbor that stops by, and she is not at all freaked out by the fact that this dog can talk. She takes it in stride. So that's, that was a little bit odd to me. But uh, along with this, you'll find a few familiar faces. Well, okay, one familiar face. Of course, Russell has to show up. So that's my only big spoiler. But in this, we get to see Doug's experience with <clears throat> his arch enemy, a squirrel. And... Um, in the second episode, oh, he uh, gets to meet some puppies and take charge of, <laughs> well, babysitting them for the most part while Carl is busy with a few other things. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, I'll just check here. Oh, Doug explores his sense of smell, and he smells something he's never smelled before. And it takes him on a little adventure. Then there is, <clears throat> oh, yes. <laughs> Flowers. What is a, a, a dog's, most dogs, greatest enemy, greatest fear? It might be those flowers in the sky. Yeah, that's uh, that you might have right around early July. Well, you get to see how Doug handles that when uh, he discovers what they are. And in the very last episode, it's called Science. And that's when Russell stops by and changes everything for Doug. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm not going to give you give away that at all. That's a nice little surprise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, lose my voice. Ah, that might be a good thing for you. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Up and, uh, <laughs> and you're a fan of Doug, honestly, this is something you're going to obviously want to check out. This is great fun from start to finish. It, it keeps with the humor. There's none of the uh, <laughs> sadness that you get in the first five minutes of the movie. Uh, it's just pure, pure fun with Doug and Carl and Russell for a little bit. So, yeah, I, I, it's, it's Pixar. So they have yet to to fail miserably, and it's going to be difficult if they decide to continue this without Ed Asner for a second season. But, hey, uh, at least we got this. This is a, ni a neat, little, neat little thing. So I haven't heard anything whether they're going to try to continue or not. Either way, this is worth checking out. So, that's a quick and easy one. Uh, let's pick tomorrow's episode. 72. 72. Oh, okay. We got a movie. We almost uh, we thought we were going to have another uh, sh series of shorts about dogs. Since we had the last two days were about dogs. So, either way, uh, this one is about bears, but it's not a documentary. It's an animated movie. We're going to be watching Brother Bear 2. Now, sadly, you see here on the list, we have Brother Bear, the first one, and we have not watched that yet. So, I'm going to be watching the sequel before the original, which happens sometimes, but I don't have control over it. So, I'll see you back here tomorrow with Brother Bear 2 on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. See you then.